Hello, my name is Qudwa Farhati, PhD candidate at Constantin III University, Algeria, and today I will present my research about enhancing fiscal outcomes throughout human-centered design, the economic benefits of salutogenic architecture in public design principles in healthcare facilities is an innovative approach to architecture, holds an immense potential for promoting health and well-being throughout the design of our built environment. Salutogenic design places emphasize on the incorporation of key elements that have a profound impact in our physical and mental well-being. These elements include natural light, access to nature, and the use of materials and colors that foster a positive and healing atmosphere. By implementing these principles, we can witness a transformation in patient incomes, which reduces stress and anxiety, faster recovery times, and improved overall health outcomes. Well, it's not only patients who benefit from salutogenic design, but uh, staff who works at the hospitals and healthcare facilities also experience a significant improvement in their well-being and job satisfaction when working in environments that prioritize their needs. This positive effect on staff satisfaction can lead to a reduction in turnover, ensuring a stable and motivated workforce. From an economic standpoint, salutogenic design principles offer a cost-effective way to enhance the effectiveness and efficiency on health services. By creating environments that support healing and well-being, we can potentially reduce healthcare costs in the long run. Despite the growing interest in salutogenic design principles, there is still a dearth in the evidence of regarding their economic benefits in public healthcare facilities particularly in Algeria. Therefore, our study aims to fill this gap by investigating the economic advantages of incorporating these principles in Algerian question public health care. is how do salutogenic design principles impact the economic benefits of public health care facilities in Algeria? The main objective of this study is to investigate the economic benefits of salutogenic architecture in public health care facilities in Algeria, going throughout the following secondary objectives. First is to explore the perceptions of staff and patients on the impact of salutogenic design principles on healthcare facilities, then to investigate the effect of salutogenic design on staff well-being, patient experience and overall cost of healthcare facilities, and finally to provide an evidence for the potential cost savings and other benefits of incorporating salutogenic design After principles in the literature healthcare. review. We have summarized the key points on salutogenic design principles in healthcare facilities, which is an approach that aims to promote health and well-being through the design of the built environment. The literature highlights several key elements on salutogenic architecture. First, the incorporation of natural light, then the providing the accessibility to nature throughout green spaces and views of nature, uh, also the positive and healing atmosphere, and the flexibility and adaptability are also key principles. And lastly, the salutogenic architecture aims to foster connection and community by providing spaces for social interactions, communal areas and gardens. Some key quotes in what concern the, uh, the implementation of salutogenic uh, principles in healthcare facilities is uh, going from uh, Osterberg uh, for, uh, 20, 2011 patients in a hospital with a salutogenic design has a short recovery time and reported a higher overall satisfaction with their hospital experience. Craig said that staff in salutogenic hospital reported higher job satisfaction and a lower turnover rate compared to staff in a traditional hospital. And the last research from Smith and L in 2021 uh, confirmed that salutogenic design in healthcare facilities can also lead to a reduction in energy consumption, which can lead to cost savings and environmental benefits. We see that studies have shown that patients in salutogenic hospitals experience shorter recovery times and higher over satisfaction with their hospital experience in nursing homes with salutogenic design residents have a lower risk of depression and report a higher quality of life. Studies have shown that salutogenic design principles can theoretically lead to reduced healthcare costs and improved patient outcomes, but there is still a gap in the literature about the implementation in public healthcare facilities and the expected outcomes the framework the for understanding the economic and well-being benefits of salutogenic architecture in healthcare facilities can draw upon several relevant theories. First of all, we have the Bophelia theory, which is proposed by Edwards, suggests that humans have an innate 
innate affinity for nature and that exposure to natural elements such as green spaces and natural light promotes well-being and health. The second theory is the environmental psychology, um, which uh, suggests that the interaction between individuals and their built environment, the theory of environment in psychology, including attention restoration theory and stress reduction theory, provide insights into how salutogenic design principles can positively impact mental health, stress reduction, and overall well-being. Also, the evidence-based design, which is a theory that emphasizes the use of research evidence to inform design decisions. And finally, the cost-benefit analysis, uh, which is an economic theory that assesses the costs and benefits associated with the particular in intervention or design decision. These theories suggest that integrating natural elements, considering psychological well-being, incorporating research evidence, and evaluating the economic feasibility can optimize the health, well-being, and cost-effectiveness of the health. theoretical framework. A conceptual framework can be developed to support the investigation of the impact of salutogenic design principles in public healthcare facilities in Algeria, which includes the independent variable, which is the implementation of salutogenic design principles, and we have four dependent variables, which are the well-being of patient and staff, the effectiveness and efficiency in healthcare facilities, the cost savings and the overall sustainability the in healthcare framework facilities. led us to formulate the four uh, research hypotheses which states that the implementation of salutogenic design principles in public healthcare facilities in Algeria will lead to improvement in the well-being of patient and staff, will lead also to the improvement in the efficiency and the effectiveness of healthcare facilities, is going to lead to the cost savings in terms of healthcare facilities, and finally will lead to an improvement in the overall sustainability will of use a mixed methodology using a checklist and the survey as the primary data collection methods. The survey will include a set of questions that will be used to investigate the economic benefits of salutogenic architecture in public health care facilities in Algeria. Population identification, which goes to 10% of the total number of healthcare facilities, which give us 60 public healthcare facilities divided on hospitals, uh, specialized hospitals and university hospitals. Uh, then the facility 13, which uses a checklist with 25 criteria grouped in five domains, which are access to natural light, access to nature, pro positive and healing atmosphere, flexibility and adaptability, and finally connection and community. Then for the data collection, we use a QR code questionnaires, which, uh, uh, which make the uh, data collection easy for both the groups. Uh, going to the data analysis where we use the descriptive statistics and t-test to measure the, the, the mean difference between the compliant and non-compliant groups to compare the effect of salutogenic principles on various aspects in the healthcare facilities using t-tests for the two groups. In group 1, it shows that higher average score in well-being with 1.8 compared to group 2 with 1.6 indicating slightly uh, higher levels of well-being of patients and staffs. Uh, going in terms of efficiency and effectiveness to group 1, which demonstrates a higher average score with 4.2 compared to group 2 with 3.7, indicating a more positive impact on staff experience. Also, for uh, the both groups, um, a positive effect on overall costs, with group 1 showing a slightly stronger effect. Finally, in uh, terms of facility of sustainability, group 1 has a higher average effect with 3.5 compared to group uh, 2 with 2.3, indicating a stronger impact on the overall sustainability of the facilities. These findings suggest that the implementation of salutogenic design principles can have a significant positive effect on multiple aspects of healthcare facilities, which support the, explore the effect of salutogenic design principles in healthcare facilities. The results demonstrated that implementing these principles positively influences various aspects, including patient and staff well being, efficiency and effectiveness of healthcare facilities, overall costs, and facility sustainability. Incorporating elements such as access to natural light, natural positive atmospheres and flexibility can lead to improved patient outcomes, staff satisfaction and operational efficiency. These findings highlight the significance of integrating salutogenic design principles to create supportive environment that promotes well-being uh, for all stakeholders in healthcare facilities. By considering these principles, healthcare facilities in Algeria can enhance uh, that well-being in individuals, optimize resource utilization, and contribute to the overall sustainability of the healthcare system. Thank you for your attention.